Hello, this is Insane Gamer, and I'm going to be covering why people already hate Star Wars Battlefront. They're saying it makes no sense. So let's dig deep into this. Star Wars Battlefront may turn out to be a bad game. Star, Star Wars Battlefront may turn out to be, to be a good game. In truth, we don't really know what Star Wars Battlefront will be like, aside from the tidbits of information we've received from EA and DICE, but that hasn't stopped a very vocal group of fans of the series from grimacing with disgust and already writing off one of the most heavily anticipated games of the year. Also, Star Wars Battlefront, everything we know so far, including no space battles and Force Awakens DLC. There are a number of reasons why this, in case of the following, to launch the, la the launch of the game's debut trailer, does re reveal more details regarding the game. Some of which the highlighted features had been cut from the game, along with certain aspects that didn't fall in line with our expectations. The space battles that had been introduced in Star Wars Battlefront 2 have been removed, meaning that the ground to space combat may many had been hoping for aren't going to be a reality after all. A single player story mode has also been jettisoned in favor of crafted missions that can be played in either single player, online, co-op, offline, and split screen. The, the player cap is lower than expected cloaking in a maximum of 40 players per session while, while on rails view, view, vehicular combat section featuring AT-ATs were announced taking away some of the freedom players players experience with vehicles in the previous entries in the in the series with the backlash inevitability and intensifies the dice dice those developers have been forced to take to to likes Twitter and Reddit in order to justify their decisions, explaining to the, to the anger masses that these design choices were made to benefit the game. Though few are buying the explanation, instead, we have become stuck in the perpetual circle jerk where bat Battlefront fans are falling over on one another in order to mourn the supposed demise of the series under the guidance of the Dark Die. Under the guidance of Dar of Darth Dice and the Dark Lord of the Sith Emperor EA, all this and we will and we and we still haven't seen a snippet of gameplay footage. Star Wars Battle, a star a new Star Wars Battlefront has been in heavy demand for many years now. So much that the majority have already decided exactly what they wanted to see from from, from EA and Dice's announcements have simply swerved past expectations in order to introduce elements in the series that no one had thought of. Therefore, making them immediately oppose the idea, of changing up the formula. Blah blah blah. Bemoaning the game's players count an argument that the that Battlefield 4 had a maximum of 64 players, so therefore that should also be in case in Battlefront. Uh, while thoroughly enjoyable, the, fir the first two Battlefront games were hardly perfect, blighted by repet repetitiveness. Some of the announcements from from EA and DICE suggest that they are working to add more elements to the base game despite the heavily dis discussed amount of content they've removed from the series taking taking take the criticized on rail sections for instance when taken at the face value on rail on rails vehicle sections some like the and I can't even, I don't even pronounce it, whatever. The, the, an, 
antithesis of fun when compared to the level of freedom that was granted to the players in the original game. However, when you read what one of the game's devs had to say about the game gameplay change, it actually sounds, dare I say it, fun. Responding criticism. Respond. The dev replied, All I can reference right now is that showcase game clip with the AT-ATs on indoor that are on rails once you try it out and see the game but you will understand why it's important they're on rails they're they're the objective and they need to be going in a certain direction I'm sure people who work on game design here can will comment on it down down the right but Trust me, they are they are only going there. Be, they're only doing their best to create what we will be the most fun and exciting experience. These are some these are some very talented, smart people. Be be skeptical, sure, but give it a, the benefit of a doubt until you try it out. Meaning, the dev wants you to try the game out before you actually criticize the game. Maybe what they did was actually a good thing. I don't know. A new game mode in which players are tasked with guiding AT-80 -AT to an objective whilst their player, well, will their opponents impede their progress. That certainly is a departure from the handful of modes where you treat where where we are treated to in Battlefront One and Two, a majority of which revolve around simply capturing objectives and killing enemies in. Reality, the space combat missions were so popular because they offered something different from main bulk of the game. Objective in reality, the space the space combat missions were so popular because they they gave the player something different from the gameplay options were were fine back in 2004 when the original games were released, but in but in a time. When there is an abundance of online shooters and introduction of a new unique game type is necessary. Again, there's no way of telling whether or not it will be enjoyable addition to the game or we haven't seen in the gameplay yet. Quite frankly, people, y'all need to y'all need to shut up for a second because Dice and EA are doing their best. They're y'all need to just calm y'all y'all need to calm y'all the shit. And actually, just try the game out before you freaking criticize it. Get some evidence about the game and cri before you criticize it, okay? People thought Fable 3 was going to be a big-ass game. Thought it was going to be the best Fable ever. Look what we got. We got a big pile of Fable shit. So, try it out before you, before you criticize it and get back to me. Now, we'll get back to EA before you criticize it. Souls Battlefront may be, may be the awful addition to the series that people are already claiming it to be, but it might be the best to wait it out a little while until we pass further judgment by a little while. I mean, until, they, until we've actually seen anything from the game other than a two-minute trailer, a handful of screenshots, and a few Reddit comments from the developers. Star Wars is back, so let's just be happy. Eh? Yeah, Star Wars fans, you need to be happy. Star Wars is back after years of absence, and y'all and and y'all being ungrateful. Y'all being ungrateful. Y'all need to. Y'all need to be happy with y'all with, with what y'all got. They could not have. They couldn't have. Met, they might as well have not even made a game at all. But yet y'all are just bitching about it. Well, this has been Insane Gamer. I hope you enjoy. And I will see you again next time. Bye.